Hello, and Happy New Year to everyone. My name is John Miares, and I am the group leader for the surveys team at the USDA NAS Great Lakes Regional Field Office in East Lansing, which serves Indiana, Michigan, and Ohio. In this video, I would like to take some time to introduce you to how the training plan is going to work for ARMS 3 this year, and where you can find what you need on the Purdue GLR NASDA website as you prepare to begin work on this survey. The last several months have been extremely challenging for all of us. It was almost a year ago when we began the extraordinary efforts to transition all enumeration work away from face-to-face -face interviews. It hasn't been easy, but we have persevered. You have continued to provide high quality work under heavy burdens and tight time constraints. And for that, we must thank you. Thank you for your patience, your perseverance, your flexibility, Thank you for continuing to find ways to connect with our farmers. And thank you for your continued dedication and commitment to our mission, which has allowed NAS to be able to publish 350 reports since last March when this all began. Now we've just about come full circle. This all began in the middle of the ARMS-3 survey last year, and we're getting ready to start ARMS-3 again. We have faced and overcome several challenges and all of us have learned a lot about ourselves in the past year. Please know that I have complete faith in all of you to rise to this new challenge. Before we begin, I want to give you the opportunity to hear from some of the other members of the Great Lakes Region team who will be working with you on these surveys. Hello Great Lakes Enumerators. My name is Alan Erickson and I am part of the survey team in the Great Lakes Regional Field Office in East Lansing, Michigan and I am the survey coordinator for ARMS-3. So I wanted to welcome all of you to the 2020 ARMS-3 virtual training school. It's a little bit different doing training this way. Uh, we in the office have to communicate virtually as well. So we're going to rely heavily on the Purdue website and teleconferences, etc., to get the training materials uh, out to you that you need. So I wanted to give you a thank you in advance for all your hard work on this survey. It's difficult enough when you have to do the survey face to face. Now that you have to do it by phone is going to create even more challenges. So I wanted to give you a, a thank you in advance for your hard work on this survey and look forward to working with each of you. Thank you. Hi all, my name is Jamie Price and I'm the NASDAQ coordinator in the Indiana field office. I've been with NAS for 35 years and I've been in all different sections of the office. I wanted to take a few minutes and thank you for all the work that you've done and all the work that you will be doing in the coming months. We know that ARMS 3 is going to be difficult to complete on the phone, but we trust that you'll rise to the occasion and be able to do the best that you possibly can be. I feel like this training that we put together will be beneficial and that with your hard work that you put into the training, you'll have a successful survey. God bless. Hello, my name is Paul Goings and I'm the Michigan NASDA coordinator. Despite the many upcoming challenges, I'm looking forward to working on ARMS3 with all of you to make sure that it is another successful survey. Thank you for all that you do to make sure NASDA runs effectively and efficiently. Hi, my name is Brooke Morris and I'm the NASDA coordinator for the Ohio Field Office. I have worked for NAS for the past 20 years. I started out in the Louisiana field office, and I've also worked in the Tennessee field office. Not only do I work with supervisors and enumerators, but I am also in charge of the annual cash rent survey for all three states and the wheat objective yield survey for Ohio. Personally, I have three daughters, ages 16, 15, 13, and a son that is 11. And in my spare time, my husband and I are taxi drivers and cheerleaders for all our kids and all the sports and activities they do. I also enjoy reading and just getting outdoors. Fall is my favorite time of the year. I know you guys have a challenge ahead of you with arms, but I am positive that you guys will get it done to the best of your ability. And we are greatly appreciative of all that you do for us at NAS. Thank you. 
Thank you. Hello, my name is Linda Lawson and I am the CAPI point of contact for the Great Lakes region. My job responsibilities include troubleshooting CAPI and all things iPad related. I also manage the Purdue GLR website and post all the various documents that the rest of the office staff works so hard to create for you. So as you can see, my work life can get pretty techy. I'm a bit more relaxed in my personal life. And my favorite activity is spending time with my one-year-old granddaughter, Alice. I also enjoy acrylic painting. And here are a couple of my recent works of art that I've created. <laughs> I started off with trying to do a mural for Alice's nursery and I like to think I've progressed a little from creating nursery wall art, but it's fun to do. Well, I want to wish you good luck with the virtual individual training and the survey, and please don't hesitate to reach out to me if I can be of any assistance. Thank you. Hello, Great Lakes enumerators. My name is Ty Kalis, Regional Deputy Director of USDA NAS Great Lakes Region. These unprecedented times continue to affect us in both our personal and professional lives. Um, seems like an eternity since we've been able to go to a sporting event or even enjoy a dinner with friends at a restaurant. Professionally, we communicate through telephone, emails, um, instant messaging, but rarely do we see each other face to face and we never exchange a friendly handshake. Um, but through these difficult times, you guys have really risen to the challenge and really helped us continue to meet our mission. To date, NASA has published over 340 reports since the face-to-face -face restrictions went into place last March. Um, for that, we're thankful and we couldn't be more proud of everybody out there. How long this continues is anybody's guess at this point. I know it's not ideal collecting data over the phone. Um, it's just the way we have to operate because safety is the number one thing at this point. A little bit about the training. Um, this year we're going to be using training videos from across the country. Um, we came quickly to realize that it wasn't efficient to have 12 different regions all producing 12 different videos on the same content. Uh, so John and his group, working with other group leaders across the country, came up with these set of videos representing the, the best that we could put together for each section. So you won't rec recognize everybody in the videos, but I really hope that you learn a lot from them and uh, they prepare you for the survey. Until then, we look forward to um, visiting with everybody again, like you keep saying, in the future. Um, we really look forward to seeing you guys again and um, being able to have our trainings with you in person. Until then, um, thank you again for everything you've done and please stay safe out there. We look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you. Greetings, everyone. Welcome to the Great Lakes Arms 3 Training Workshop. Woo! My name is Marlo D. Johnson. I am the Regional Director for the Great Lakes Region, and you all are in store for a wonderful training. The office has worked very hard to put together training videos and training material. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. I also would like to take this opportunity to say thank you to you all for all of your hard work for continuing to push forward during the situation that we're in. We appreciate it. We miss you all so very much. Also, I would like to mention a couple of things that are taking place in headquarters. Our administrator, Mr. Hubert Hamer, is currently working as the acting undersecretary for our REE mission area. Yay, Hubert! And also, Kevin Barnes, our associate administrator, is acting administrator for Hubert. Yay, Kevin! So those are the changes that are currently taking place in our headquarters. And I know that our regional staff have been working very hard to put things in place and make everything ready for you all. And I appreciate them as well. I would also like to say thank you all for a great job with ARMS2 as well as our Veg Chem Survey. 
I, everything went really well. And one thing that I would like to mention is that on a couple of our surveys, some respondents call and they called and happened to get me and they were looking for some help with their surveys to get them completed. They just wanted to give us the data because they were busy and wouldn't be by the phone. So I was so happy to be able to speak with them and be able to help them. And of course, the regional office staff has been very great about helping out with the respondents and helping out with different areas as well. So thank you all so much. I know that you're going to be in store for a great training and I hope that we're able to be back together soon. So thank you all so much. Look forward to a great training and I wish you all the best. Woo! Take care. Thank you.